This whole capstone experience, it's really about your Russian studies and taking it to a new level. It's an opportunity to immerse yourself, step out of your comfort zone, I mean maybe leap out of your comfort zone, and really dive into a language that requires a lot of you. This program is very seriously, like every minute of every day, is geared towards language acquisition. It's actual cultural competency. The intensive aspect, the reaching a professional level in a language that not many people know. We have different classes each day. There's grammar and writing and conversation practice. How do they speak in magazines and newspapers versus how would I give a presentation versus how would I ask for directions? All of these things are really important. Take a direct enrollment course. I took ethics of journalism. A human biochemistry course. Semiotics. She would direct the classes completely towards our interests. So she'd be, she'd say, what are you interested in? What questions do you have about this particular topic? What did you want me to talk about? Every day we have an hour of individual instruction with a, a tutor. But that's one of my favorite parts of the day. We also have the internship, which uh, gives you practice of using Russian in a professional setting. My internship is with a business magazine. Kastiev State Museum of Art. Nizavisimi Televizionny Kanal. Здравствуйте! В эфире проект Дипломатия. Я ее ведущий Хюэл Уайт. It really puts you in the professional situation. Living with a host family makes it so that I have to speak Russian more than just out and about. I get like actual real life experience hearing lots of different native speakers and not just one. Almaty is really like a bustling city. We were especially surprised when we came here and it was kind of like being in European city. Uh, while it might be a post-Soviet state, is actually westernizing rather rapidly. It's a big city and that's great. So if there's like anything you want to do, you can find a place to do it. You can ride horses, you can go swimming, you can go to the symphony. The nature here is gorgeous. The mountains are unlike anything I've ever seen in my entire life. Most people who study Russian end up spending time in Russia, but the Russian-speaking world is so much more than just Russia. I think it really does give you a better impression of the Russian-speaking world overall. To market myself as somebody who is not only familiar with Russian and Eastern European culture, but also with Central Asian culture, I think that it's been of great personal benefit, of professional benefit.